Hello, I'm John Kneebone and welcome to Mainline Baits Carp Fishing TV and another how-to video and another giveaway. So make sure you stay tuned to the end of the video for those details, where today we're going to be showing you how to make cell boilies with a twist. They're going to be banoffee flavoured and dumbbell shaped. And just to make the tutorial absolutely complete, we're also going to show you how to make cork dust wafters to match. Right, let's get started. Okay, you'll need four eggs for the dumbbell boilie mix and a single egg for the cork dust wafter mix. You'll need the cell activator liquid and we'll also be using milky toffee and banana and pear response flavours. To round off the blend nicely, we'll be using some sweet aid and then for the dry ingredient, we'll be using the cell base mix and we're also going to need some cork dust for making the hook baits. A bait gun will speed up the rolling process as well as a rolling table. You'll also need a measuring spoon for the liquids as well as some utensils and mixing bowl. We'll need a plastic bag for mixing our cork dust and base mix together. We've got a saucepan for boiling our baits as well as an air dry tray for drying them off. Okay, now we've covered everything you need, let's start this mix by cracking four eggs into the mixing bowl like so and then just gently mix the whites and yolks together. We can now start adding our liquid attractors beginning with the cell activator which is the only liquid that you would need if you was making standard cell boilies. So we're going to add one, two, three, five mil spoons of the cell activator to give us 15 ml of the liquid in the mix. Next I'm going to add some of the milky toffee so that we can begin making that banoffee flavour. I'm going to add 5 ml of the milky toffee response flavour. Just gently top that up there and in it goes. Next up is the banana and pear, again from the response flavour range. It's a bit of a stronger flavour this one, so we don't need quite as much, so I'm going to add 2.5ml of the banana and pear, in that goes. We're now going to use a sweetener to blend all the liquid flavours together, and I've chosen the Sweet Aid. And we only need 2.5ml of this liquid, so again just carefully measure that out, and into the eggs that goes. We now just need to give the eggs a little stir so that all the baits will have an even distribution of flavour. We can now begin starting to add our dry ingredient and the cell dedicated base mix. And it's much better to add this a little at a time in stages and slowly build up the paste rather than trying to weigh out the total amount and adding it in in one go. You can see the paste is now beginning to build and we can no longer use the fork for mixing. So I'm just going to clean the fork off there and we've got to the point where we're now going to mix by hand. So I'm just going to add another couple of spoons of base mix and then begin kneading the paste by hand. And again, continue building the paste up a little at a time until you end up with a paste like this where it's no longer sticking to my hand. It's not too dry and crumbly, it's still pliable, but when I roll that paste across my hand, it's not sticking. And that is the biggest indicator that your paste is ready for rolling. So we'll just leave the paste rest for a few minutes for the dry ingredients to absorb the liquids fully. Okay, so we've allowed the paste to rest for a while and as you can see, it's still got enough moisture to be pliable, but it's dry enough that it doesn't stick to my hand. And this just shows how important it is to build your paste up slowly in stages. So we can now take our ball of paste, place it on a table and just simply roll it out into a large sausage like shape like so. And that's so that we can now easily add that to our bait gun. And then simply add the screw top and nozzle and we're ready for rolling. Okay, a quick pro tip for you now. If we take some unflavored and unscented olive oil, we're going to prep our rolling table to make the rolling process even easier. So I'm just going to add a little bit to the measuring spoon, just so that I can dab that across the rolling table like so. And then just simply take your index finger and just work the oil 
down all the grooves of your rolling table, on the base and on the top, and now we're ready to roll our bait. Something important to note here is that I'm using a nozzle a couple of mil smaller in size than the grooves on the rolling table. And that's what's gonna give our boilies that dumbbell shape. So we can now begin the rolling process by gunning out a couple of sausages of paste across our rolling table like so. And we'll just line them up quickly. And then we take the top section of the rolling table, line that up on the bottom section, slide it forwards and backwards. We've now created our first batch of dumbbell boilies. So there you go, a nice dumbbell shape that's a little bit different to your standard round boilie. So let's just quickly go through that process again. Simply gun out a couple of sausages across the table, line them up, add the top section of the table, slide it backwards and forwards and create your dumbbell boilies. To take this customization a stage further, I've now changed the nozzle of the gun to one a little bit smaller to create a longer dumbbell and just give us another variation within our feed. So we have a more rounded dumbbell that could be used within a catapult as well as one that's a little bit longer and narrower that would be more suited to spod mixes. We now need to boil our baits to give them a durable skin. So bring some water to a vigorous boil and begin to add some of the baits, not too many. You don't want to take that water off the boil and then just give them a stir just so that they don't stick together or anything like that in the water. And then boil your baits for two minutes or until they float to the surface, whichever is sooner. And then just simply scoop them out and add them to an air dry tray or a dry towel. Almost there, just fish out the last few boilies and that's our first batch of baits boiled and on the air dry tray. And if you've got any questions about making baits, please leave them in the comments box below. We can now continue boiling the remainder of the baits like so and then leave on an air dry tray for a couple of hours before they're ready for use. As we've made these baits with fresh ingredients, if you're not gonna use them straight away, they'll need to be stored frozen in your freezer. Okay, we now need to put together our dry mix, ready to create our cork dust dumbbell wafters to match the boilies that we've just rolled. And I'm gonna start by adding two scoops of cork dust to a plastic bag. That'll give our hook baits their element of buoyancy and I'm then gonna add six scoops of the cell dedicated base mix to give ourselves a ratio of three to one. Now this ratio at this point is just more of a guesstimate to get us close to the exact mix that we're going to need. And you'll see the reason for this later in the video. To mix the two dry ingredients together, we'll just blow a little air into the plastic bag, twist it around the top like so, and then give it a really good shake to mix these two ingredients together evenly so that all the hook baits will have the same level of buoyancy. With the dry mix ready to go, we can now crack a single egg into the mixing bowl. And just like we did with the prior mix, is just take the fork and just mix the yolk and the white together. And now we can add our liquids. So five mil of the cell activator, and as these are hook baits, we can up the attraction levels. So I'm gonna add five mil of milky toffee. Two and a half mil of the pear and banana response flavor. In that goes. And two and a half mil of the sweet aid. So basically the same amount of flavors to one egg as what we used in four eggs for our feed boilies. Just as we did when making our boilies, we can now add the dry ingredient to the liquids a little at a time. We want to slowly build up this paste, like I say, just as we did when we made our boilies. So we'll mix that through, continue adding a little at a time so that we slowly build up our paste to a nice pliable paste that's not too dry and crumbly, but it's also not sticky and too wet so that it won't roll nicely on the table. There we go, as before, it's rolling on my hand, it's not sticking, and that's the best indication that that paste is ready to roll. So now we can move on to the next really important step, which is taking a pinch of that paste, 
molding it into a hook bait the same sort of size and shape as what we want them to end up being thread that onto a baiting needle now I know that we haven't boiled these baits yet this is still just some soft paste but you'll see why we're doing this in a moment we'll just thread that onto a hair rig and this is important now I've placed that onto the same hair rig that I intend using with these hook baits okay so that's that little bit of paste on that hair rig and we're now just going to test it in the water to see the buoyancy of that paste and there you go that pretty much sank like a stone it's nowhere near buoyant enough so we can now start adjusting our paste by adding a little bit more of the cork dust and working that through the paste just kneading it through until it's all evenly distributed and repeat this testing process until the hook bait sits exactly as you'd like it which for me is the hook line flat on the bottom with the hook bait wafting above it now that we know our paste has the perfect buoyancy for wafting hook baits we can roll it out as we did with our boilies earlier so simply gun across the base of the rolling table line up the top move it forwards and backwards to create your dumbbell cork dust wafters there we go matching the flavor color shape and size as the boilies we made earlier we now have the perfect cork dust wafters and a match the hatch approach once you've rolled out all your baits it's time for the boiling process so bring some water to a vigorous boil and add the hook baits just a few at a time and then boil them for two minutes and just as we did with our boilies before just give those hook baits a little stir around in the saucepan just to make sure that they don't stick together and then once that two minutes is up we'll fish all of our hook baits out of that boiling water and spread them out onto a nice dry towel or if you've got an air dry tray you could use one of those just get those last couple of baits one more out it comes onto the towel and then we can just continue with the process adding a few hook baits at a time don't want too many that it might take the water off the boil once boiled spread all the hook baits out to dry for a minimum of 24 hours and that's it not only have we made a batch of cell boilies tweaked with the banoffee flavor but they've also got that dumbbell shape again to give us that little extra edge and to match those dumbbells perfectly we've got some cork dust wafting hook baits as you can see by testing the paste prior to boiling and rolling with our chosen rig we now have the perfect presentation with the hook bait wafting above a hook lying flat on the lake bed okay now for the part you've all been waiting for details of the giveaway and how you could win the cell dedicated base mix activator and flavors that we've used here today all you need to do is go to the comments box below and tell us your favorite type of carp mirror common koi lever whatever it might be write in that comments box below within the first five days of this video being uploaded to enter thanks for watching if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up hit that notification button so you know when the next video is coming out if you don't yet subscribe to the channel please hit that subscription button below we'd really appreciate it and if you'd like to watch more of our how-to videos i'll leave links to those here thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video